subscribers, welcome again to Cat Eyes channel. Today I will bring you introductions to the new EM core, Spherical Lightning. Let's take a look. What's unique about this new core is that it creates a lightning ball in the middle. It causes traction to targets within ring and continues to cause damage. Continuous shooting will continue to increase the damage. It can attack targets across cover. In other words, its attack can penetrate the leg shield. The base damage of this core is not very high. The traction effect in actual combat is not very obvious. You can't keep someone who wants to live. 5 stars is useless. 9 stars and 12 stars are good but expensive. And this core is just good for the dead height and other PvE mode. Some of the lightning balls guided cannot cause any damage to scene properties as you can see. For example, this spider web at the hillside. In actual combat, you can burn the opponent in some unexpected positions. For example, here I can direct a lightning ball downstairs to burn the target on the second floor. This call is very effective in taking up points in training arena or hitting some high altitude targets. If you have a low star, you can only pull people, but in the higher star, it can be used for some control. There is also noble shield recovery reduction. But the frequency of lightning attacks is fixed, so it takes 5 seconds to burn the target to trigger the shield reduction effect. In actual combat, unless you tighten the configuration, others will almost beat you at this time. You can use it to restrain the warriors who occupy the points. In necessity, although the traction effect can slightly interfere with the gunline, but in fact, it is not very useful. The flamethrower's body damage is still low. At close range, it is just a tickle at best and no one can stop it. Because dragging is towards the center, it is likely to trap the warriors from far away. But the strong warrior is too scary, I still don't recommend using this thing to trap him. This core does not come with any firing red chip and the maximum damage is 847. With the firing red chip, the highest is 942. The light weapon firing rate is 12.7% at the max level. The damage is increased by about 11%. However, the ammunition consumption rate has changed from about 0.17 seconds per shot to 0.13 seconds per shot. I think it would be better to just bring some bonus chips. When you eat some food, your firing rate also will increase. This thing can even be used to set off fireworks with a fire extinguisher. That's it survivors, do you think it is worth to have it? Let me know in the comments, okay? Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye!